Brown Girl J over here showing out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chanel and today I'm going to be giving you my first impressions on a new fragrance that I got from Brown Girl Jane. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts and my first impressions, then please just keep on watching. Listen, if you like fragrance and beauty and lifestyle, but mostly fragrance related content, then girl, I got you. Go ahead and join the fam. We would love to have you. Please subscribe. Also, also, if you do like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It will help out my channel. I need your help. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and get into this video. So I actually just stumbled across this company by sheer accident. I was on Instagram. I was scrolling through my feed. I saw a lady that was showcasing this company. I don't even remember who she was. Honestly, I don't know. But I just saw that she was talking about this company. She said that it was a black owned business um, and that they had just come out with some fragrances and she was talking about the perfume. So I was like, okay, yes, I am here for it. Listen, it is almost February. It's almost Black History Month. We want to highlight and showcase our black businesses because why not? Why not? So anyways, I did want to support and I wanted to see what the company was talking about. So Brown Girl Jane is a skincare slash wellness company. They do sell fragrances now and they also sell candles. Looks like they have a lot of good products, but my main thing that I wanted to test out was their fragrances. So they did have three fragrances listed on the website. They only have one size, which is a one fluid ounce for $62. So the first one they have is Bahia Peace, which is classified as a warm floral. The next one they have is Casablanca Love, which is the one that I got. And this is classified as a daring sensual fauceted scent. And the next one they have is Lamu, which is classified as a fresh spark juicy scent. The one that actually stuck out to me was definitely Casablanca because it has some really good notes, which I'll talk about a little bit later. So I ordered this on Sunday. They shipped it on Monday and I got it today, which is a Saturday. So it didn't take long. It took about a week for it to ship. This is from the Wonderlust collection. Again, this is called Casablanca and the mood is love. Hmm. Cause we love to see it. Okay, the notes that are listed on here, the top notes are marshmallow, cardamom, and incense. The mid note is saffron, soft suede, and vanilla orchid. And the base is glowing amber, soft musk, and sandalwood. So really excited. Let's go ahead and open her up. I love the color of the packaging. I actually like the packaging a lot. It's very sleek. I like the color too, kind of modern. Um, big fan of that. Oh God, I just broke the box. There she is, look at her, she's cute. She is cute, she's very dainty. I hope you guys can see that, very cute. So it just says Brown Girl Jane Casablanca on it. There's nothing written on the bottom. There's like a little stamp on the side. This is plastic, the bottle is kind of like that heavy plastic, kind of light, not too bad though, I, I, I'm not mad at it. All right. Let's see what she's talking about. I can kind of smell it from the cap, but here we go. Okay, so I can smell marshmallow for sure. That smells actually really good. This is very sweet, kind of light, kind of powdery. It has like a freshy, clean type scent to it. A freshy, clean, sweet type scent. All right, let me test it on my skin. I don't have any scents on today. Whose man's am I? What is going on? Oh, this is cute. This is cute. This is sweet. The marshmallow, I definitely smell the marshmallow. That marshmallow is very, very sweet. I think it's that suede that gives it a little bit of something to it, you know? Not very light. Like, I don't feel like this is super light. Like, I can smell that. I can definitely smell that. That smells really, okay, so this smells really good. I, I, okay, I do like this. Okay, hold up, hold up, let me see. Okay, so it has marshmallow. I for sure definitely can get that marshmallow. Cardamom, I, I don't really smell cardamom like that. I don't really smell incense like that. I can smell saffron, I can smell suede, and that vanilla for sure. That suede, I, it's the suede that I can definitely smell. It is a, 
I don't want to say it's a heavy suede, but it definitely has a little bit of weight to it. You know what I mean? Like it's a sweet, like I can, I can definitely smell the suede in this, but it's not, it's not bad at all. Like I actually really, really like this. It comes off super sweet in the beginning, but as it's drying down, that suede is really, really standing out. Okay. Okay. That's not bad. Let me put, let me put it right here. Let me test her out. And the sprayer is not bad either. That's a nice sprayer. It's not like douching me. Um, some of, you know how some of those sprayers are that just, when you spray, you get drenched. It's super dense. No, this is not like that. Mm, yes. I do smell that suede. I smell that suede. And I kind of smell that incense too. This is like, I, I, I don't know what this smells like. I don't know if I have anything that smells like this. So when you first spray this scent, it, it kind of, um, it has like that sweet, marshmallowy like it's super light kind of airy and then a little bit powdery but then as you start hitting the mids that suede definitely comes in and definitely takes the show and it's nice i'm not mad at this i really really like this okay <laughs> Brown girl J over here showing out, showing out in public, okay? Okay, let me wrap up, let me wrap up, let me wrap up my thoughts. All right, first impressions. I will say the packaging is very nice, super slick. I just, I messed my, I ripped mine. So don't, don't, don't judge me. Now the bottle, the bottle is okay. I mean, honestly, it's not the greatest thing. The, the lid is plastic. The bottle is like a thick plastic, super sleek. Nothing revolutionary though, if I'm being honest, but it's cute, it's cute. It is kind of small. This is a one fluid ounce. This is kind of tiny, but I'm not mad at it. Now the scent, as this is developing, it is getting more and more seductive. When you first spray it, it comes off kind of, I don't want to say juvenile, but very like sweet, like girly, like, ooh. It kind of puts me in the mind frame of like one of the Ariana Grande scent it kind of puts me in that mind frame, right? When you first spray it. But then as it starts to dry down, this suede in here is beautiful. It is so pretty. I absolutely love this. This is so nice. It doesn't have like a huge, huge projection, but it's not like super night light. It's coming off pretty strong to me. So I am very happy with this. I, I actually, I'm very happy with this. I think I will go check out one of the other fragrances. Like I said, they do have two other fragrances, which I have not gotten yet. If you guys are interested, I will leave the website link down below so you guys can check out their fragrances. Fragrances. So yeah, that is it you guys that wraps up today's video. These are just my first impressions I will come up with a follow-up video later on in the month to tell you guys what I really think about it And if any of my thoughts have changed, but right now she's about a B plus. That's what she's about about a B plus So yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and see you guys in my next one So when you spurt so when you first blah, 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 blah. So when you first spray, oh my gosh, and see what she's talking about. I love the, look at him, I'm struggling. 